didn't start out here. I grew up in Northern California in the 1960s under the influence of both the hippies philosophy and Wayne Tebow's paintings. I've had some success in New York City. 2004 I moved my studio from Northern California to the Bushwick section of Brooklyn in New York. I was painting postcards to Andy Warhol, one of the art world's most successful artists. I can tell you how that came about. I was in New York, I found the successful art world did not seem concerned about creating art. It was more about celebrity and being a business manager. It felt like making money replaced making art. I made my peace with the New York art world by beginning to communicate my differences with the dead Andy Warhol. And I called this work, these paintings, postcards. I called them the Andy Dialogues. Well, because of the Andy Dialogues, I was able to show my work during Art Basel Week in Miami Beach each December. Driving down to Miami Beach with a pickup load of art, I threw in the camping gear too. And after the Art Week, my wife and I go camping along the Florida Keys. And I learned that over the years, several artists have made their studios down here. And I moved mine down from New York in 2011. I'm here because of the National Park, the Florida Reef, and the fly fishing. I didn't plan on painting landscapes. There's hundreds of local artists doing a really good job of that. Most days find me out cruising the backcountry, exploring the shoals and the islands, watching marine life and fly fishing. Last year, curator Melissa Shandon approached me about an idea for a landscape exhibit. I had been focused on the Andy Dialogues for several years and not doing landscapes. When she explained her idea of using landscapes by my former professor, Wayne Tebow, and a few of his students working today, I liked her proposal. My subject was a boat ride out my back door. The Everglades National Park is a mile away using a flats boat. With that, I became interested in painting a landscape that hadn't been done. I could satisfy my drive to explore color and form, and I've tagged this series of paintings to the islands, giving a clue to the conceptual mysterious subject and its universal form. The first 48 inch by 48 inch island painting will be making its New York City debut this summer in a group show at the Francis Nauman Fine Arts on 57th Street. This is a look at the paintings that have been completed to date. The goal of this video is to bring the island paintings to a wider audience. Thank you for listening, and I'm Mel Smothers.